Hola. What? How are you guys doing? I'm going to say hello like Josh Shapiro did to me last night. Hello. <laughs> it's such a soft hello. Have he you noticed? He said hello because he did, I was walking up the stairs and he, because of obvious reasons that yeah, my, he didn't my, recognize my, you. I have a tainture in my hair. You have a, just a taint. I like yeah. how he said hello. <laughs> and then I, I, I go up the stairs and he's like, oh, it's you. So like, what the fuck did you say out of me like that? Before? I like how soft. Josh's hello is yeah, to, so to, to, to strangers. strangers. Yeah, yeah, he thought I was a monsieur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a like different than his normal. Fag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah then he he's goes always up, yelling at me. And, and um, who, it's such a, I'm not a threat. Hello. Don't worry. <laughs> who is this um, very thin black dude that I, I don't know, but what, Eddie Murphy. But no, no, he was hanging out at the third floor, and and uh, he. Are you, uh, he looks like Godfrey, but on the spectrum. Anyway, whatever. Uh, Does he talk about women having ants no, in their pants? No, he, he uh, <laughs> just we'll, we'll forget it. Uh, but um, what else is going on? My God, you're wearing a, a different timepiece. Last week it was up your yes. ass. So uh, what? Last week it was the Pulp Fiction one. Yeah. So oh not, yeah, that's funny. Uh, up his ass. <laughs> yeah. What did you think? Uh, and, and I, th I thought you actually meant like it was up my ass because I I'll forgot to put a watch on. Uh, but I, I, my Timex broke my favorite watch. I'm so this watching. is a really rare watch, ultra custom made watch, uh, worth uh, about uh, twenty five thousand dollars. No, it's a joke. All three of those things are false. <laughs> no, uh, it's actually a diesel watch I got as a gift like about ten years ago, and then the leather strap melted, and I found this mesh strap, bro. Why did you try to cook the the strap though? Yeah, exactly. What you melted it? Oh no, no, like it was what finished. Was it? Uh, it, it I know was, you're being sarcastic. From Finland? You bastards. Uh, you and uh, bro, the, the, the metal mesh It band looks like it goes with it. Goes better than the yeah. leather strap. It's perfect. Same gold, same gold tone, everything. Well, the, the reason very I, happy. I, I, I mentioned that is, uh, did you know that oh. this diesel watch yes. is a replica of another famous watch brand called Patek Philippe? Yeah. Uh, the big... Face and all. The, uh, I used my to hang favorite watch brand. If you want a fake yeah. automatic Patek Philippe, I don't uh, do fake, my friend. No. Have you seen I what can, I wear? I, I can find for. F I went to. Good, um, good no, 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 no. I only do real. I, I went to. Um, That's fine, but there's like <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> more, <laughs> more. Have you seen the one that I want? No. Oh. Dude, show me. Shows. We're what, going what, down the road. Patek Philippe has. Uh, no, it's insane, dude. I so I, I have the Tissots. You saw the yeah. the, the Tissot, Tissot is a middle of the road nice yeah, watch. Yeah, I got it. it I got yeah. a good deal on it. APs it's are the nice baby too. blue one. I still P have a Tissot. It's great. The Tissot connoisseurs noticed in the summer right away that I was wearing Wonderful it. Wonderful watch. However, you want to laugh. Isn't that the Jennifer Blue or whatever the fuck? The Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue. You want to laugh? Blue. E even though that's <laughs> blue. Even though all the watch connoisseurs noticed it and like, yo, how the fuck? Like Emil even wanted one, but he couldn't find one. Uh, you know what's crazy is that's not my most expensive watch. You know which one's more expensive, bro? My limited edition G-Shock. That one's nice, though. The black one? The black and blue one, yeah. But the nice. G-Shock is not in that in that world. It's in a but different... But the G-Shock, if you it's know... It literally costs more. If, yeah, if you know, yeah. you know that it's the more, it's the better watch. It's not in the luxury brand. But you don't know. Yeah. yeah like yeah. It's like a, a guy's wearing a $1,000 pair of Oakleys, but they're skiing glasses There's a, versus yeah, the... Uh, exactly. Brand. Yeah, I got it. There's a G-Shock that I want to buy, but it's very difficult to find. Fuck. Oh, well, you have to find the G-Spot to the, get the G-Shock. Hey, it's not going to happen. The Casio G-Shock uh, GA2100, but in all gold. And it's metal. And Beautiful, it's got eh? in all, oh, fuck, all, bro. all gold. So I was um, in um, in London, England, uh, at this store, Harris. I'm listening. I was hanging out with the um, Elton John of Australia. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're walking. And we went up to see the timepieces. Bro. I saw watches that are worth more than my life. I couldn't believe, like, I'm, I'm like seeing a hundred thousand dollar watch was like the low end. Yeah, jeez. That's a uh, Patek Philippe. Yes, sir. Gorge. Oh my <coughs> God, it's beautiful. Do you see? Look at the this. You see how thick, you see the big part of the side of your watch? Yeah, that's yeah. where. That's where they got it from. Okay. The, 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 this is what the, I want. The girth, the, the thickness, the girth. Is and this bro, a, this, is this a watch that flips? Yeah, bro. Not only does it flip, it chimes. Oh, it has a moon really? like bells, bro. It, it, it when chimes, it goes, ding, ding. It wow. chimes like a grandfather mm -hmm. clock. Yeah, yeah. The rap community is uh, they're all obsessed that. with the APs. Audemars Piquet, I think. Yeah, I'm not a big AP guy, but uh, I, I just like the old school uh, Submariner bro, James these, Bond these, watch. These are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patek. Uh, 
No, I, I like <laughs> the Rolex Submariner original. That's fine. APs Daytona. are nice too, though. But APs look a bit basic, and a lot of people have copied them. A lot of people have copied the APs. I think this is the guy that has grand complications. Yeah, this guy's always. Okay, so this watch, RMPs unique. I hate <laughs> Blue Sapphire. Blue Sapphire. Five million dirham. Oh my god. 25 million dirham. I want to punch this guy Even in the, the face. Even the horse bro. behind them is upset. No, no, no look at this. <laughs> that's my dream watch. Oh, that's very nice. Is there any way you can get that close up? No, it's TikTok. Oh, oh no, it's YouTube. You can't zoom in on YouTube. Dirham. 50 million dirham. How much I'm is that in USD? Fucking uh, 50 million dollars. <laughs> For real. Have you seen, speaking of expensive things, hmm. one of the biggest uh, fuck you money moves? Uh, that I've ever seen is uh, the number one plate in Saudi Arabia. Because what does it take to get that plate? It that costs, should, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I don't know the price now, but it's gone, like, I think it was worth like $10 million at some point. See now the human ego where it reaches? Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. But these, are, these guys are worth yeah, yeah. They throw, trillions they of dollars. They throw away Ferraris when they run out of gas. They throw them away. Yeah, yeah, they're like, that car's no good, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. God, that bro, give it to me, bro. That is by definition fuck you money. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, for fun, they go falconing. And you know what's crazy? Because normally if you pull shit off like that, uh, Ferrari sues you. If you do yeah. what? If you if you pull weird shit like that with their cars, Ferrari sues you. Yeah, have like fun it. suing a Saudi. Yeah, there you go. So. Uh, it's, you uh, sue me, I kill you. I yeah. didn't even realize that you mentioned Ferrari. Uh there's like an Oscar winning movie out there with Adam Driver about Enzo Ferrari. I didn't even know it was out. Did you know really? there's a movie with our friend Guido Coco Mels? Oh, I did not know that. It's See? called Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, yeah, I know. Of course. He played, yeah, he went to, they brought him to the racetrack, man. Yeah. He was, are you kidding me? He, he was a stunt driver. He made a lot of money on that. Yeah, yeah I remember. He was in the Matt Damon movie. Then. Yeah, he, he, yeah. I, he, I remember he motivated the fuck out of me. I had seen him, uh, me, Mike, and Poseidon uh, had lunch with him in LA. In L.A., uh, yeah. it was before we went on Rogan, like the day before, and uh, he was telling us about like the like moving there and all the stuff. Uh, I, lo I love that Fucking kid. Fucking love that kid, yeah. I I'll tell you about Guido, okay. You know that uh, that fork in the road? I re Do you remember a nightclub called Karina on Crescent Street? Yeah, bro. I okay. did my Karinas. first... Karina's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I did my f my first or my second that. JFL showcase. You were there, yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I, <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Just a lot of funny moments. I got <laughs> robbed. From yeah. those days. Some somewhere in the year. I wasn't laughing because of that. That's terrible. And uh, the people that were in charge should be shunned. They should be shunned. I have shunned them. But uh, s s somewhere in the um, in the early two thousand, in like the year two thousand or two thousand one, I come back for Christmas and I run into uh, Guido Cocomello at this nightclub, Karina, mm. because Guido had been the first guy I ever met who was dumb like me, but was in a movie with Eric Roberts when I was at Vanier. Oh my God, this guy was actually in a movie. And so years later, I come back from New York and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm studying at this acting school. He's like, I'm coming with you. <laughs> so my point is, that was that moment in time that shifted Guido. Uh, and then we became roommates at 9-11. And uh, oh what? my God. At 9-11? Guido Cocomelo moved into my apartment on September 11th, 2001. No way. Yeah. Who was he hiding from? Organizing a no terrorist attack on the United way. States of America? That is yeah. fucking it's suspicious, so bro. So Somebody should look into this. Yeah. So we I'm very, Pokemon. very happy. I, I, I remember. We're on to you, bro. His wife and man, uh, his <laughs> his little kid, his kid, he he, he teaches, he, he coaches Little League now. It's and not a kid, bro. It's an Arab midget. <laughs> He teaches Little League in Cal. He's living the American dream. He's, he's probably living, has yeah. a white picket fence. Good for him. I'm very Love happy for him. Yeah, me too. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a good He's a good dude who done good. Yeah, I'm much funnier than him. Uh, That's so, he's actually hilarious. He's no, so... He is, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, have you ever been... Okay, you have a, a, a very rare name, and so do you. Going Allegedly. to school, I, there was always, you know... Uh, Nick A and Nick B because yeah. there was two Nicks or yeah. two Susans. Yeah. There were never two Guidos in a classroom. Could you imagine what we did for two years? Of it? We were two Guidos. Bro. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. And now I see sex. Guidos everywhere. Hey, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's the Guido uh, I, I want to. I want to get his reaction. I know it's uh, a bit passe, but uh, the Jews that build tunnels and everything. Oh, the, the, the New sewers. York City sewer I heard, Jews, I heard about that from yeah. Norton this morning talking to Rogan. I couldn't uh -huh. believe that. I talked about it on the podcast first, but go on. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to say... Where is this? It seems like old habits die hard. 
That's the first thing. Because people were complaining. <laughs> I live on a on a on a floor. Oh. <laughs> this guy's like, I live in a basement apartment, and I hear Jews under me. I heard about this. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, but how do you I hear, hear Jews? Yiddish. No, he said I hear Yiddish. Oh, okay. And Yiddish, everyone Yiddish. says I'm crazy. And then now a year later, he's like, you sons of bitches! I wasn't crazy. <laughs> the Jews are on the walls. But are they? Is this They're under the floorboards? Are the walls? Is this under B and H camera? No, 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 no. This oh. is in a synagogue. Okay. They were trying to expand illegally. Yeah. And they were connecting to an old lady's bathhouse. I see. Uh, I see. But it wasn't for bathhouse purposes. It was just that's part of the expansion. Yeah. Reno- were, renovate per first, get the permits later. Yeah, exactly. I got but it. They and got my dad caught. did that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they got caught because, you know, it's all a bunch yeah. of. That's so funny. There's a bunch of people screaming Yiddish coming out of the sewers. People were bound to ask questions. That's so funny. Yeah, we, they're we, such goofy characters, and today, today, bro, socially every, awkward. Every time I see a Hasidic Jew now, ah, bro, I get, I get uh, the giggles, the the urge to say something about about like the New York uh, sewers. They and wouldn't tunnels. know about it because they don't watch TV. I think they watch. No, they do. I, bro, I spent twenty one days in a phones. psych ward with uh, a Hasidic Jewish woman. She told me everything. Uh, they, if they watch TV, they watch the the their channel. I had a I had a Jewish man get uh, upset at me because I tried to upsell him to something, and he goes, "What you try? Don't play games with me like this." I go, "What games?" And he goes, "Well, you're trying to charge he's, me extra." And I asked him, "I go, don't you have a business?" He's, he he goes, me. "I don't want to argue about it." I'm like, "That's what I thought." <laughs> um, I'll tell you what though, because you're you're from uh, uh, the Park X neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, they're on uh, the corner of Park Avenue and Beaumont. There is a, a little uh, Jewish bakery called Chesky's. Not anymore. Oh wow! Is it really not there anymore? Oh, is that the Green Wall place with the sand with sandwiches? I don't the, know. That was the one that had the sandwiches, but then they took it down. They built condos, right? I'm colorblind. No, it's a little Jewish place. It's a it's a it's like a, a real Hasidic place called Chesk. It's oh, a, maybe that one's still there. It's yeah, on yeah. Beaumont. Is it the one with the books and you go and you read no, and they, they have no, sandwiches? No, no, it's, it's an old school. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. You know about a school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 they actually, like, it's a library and shit. It's like diagonal <laughs> from the, library. it's diagonal from the Rialto. It's a, it's a, a Jewish bakery that there's people in line to go eat Oh, there. yeah, I see it. I, yeah. yeah, I think it's still there. You like bakeries? It's, it's wonderful. He I like he bakeries. Like, he doesn't like Jews, though. But the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say bakeries don't like me. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite nice. Very nice. I believe. Um, so Madonna. She's Jewish, too. No. <laughs> she tried to be. Uh. I don't know if she's pulling a Joe Biden there, or uh, but uh, Madonna, was the video I posted. M- Madonna was um, in Toronto and she said, "Thank you, Boston." <laughs> True story. Because it's two shitty accents. She couldn't. <laughs> she, she literally. She, she thought the Toronto she was, man's accent confused her. <laughs> she thought she was in Boston, man. That's so. Oh. Nah, I, I honestly look. If it was anywhere else, I would have been like, oh, okay, she's lost it. But I, it's look, funny because it's Toronto. <laughs> I, get, I give it to her. I get it. I get it. I get her. Yeah. I understand. I'd make the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, she said Madonna, that. you make me sick to my stomach, fam. <laughs> but she also showed up late. You know, what? Like, so, was this the, today where we're in Boston? Yeah. You know <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when uh, you know, the, the band uh, shows up an hour late, like Guns N' Roses or something? So yeah. she did that too. So in addition to sh- making the crowd wait an hour... She uh, also said, thank you, Boston. That I never understood. Like, that's just mean. It's uh, Making people yeah. wait. Yeah. For, like, the only time ever, I think, ever. Axel Rose did that, and they burnt down the Olympic Stadium. We've maybe. ever done that? No, that's not why he is, because okay. they set Metallica on fire. But in addition, <laughs> he was already, they <laughs> yeah, were late. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but that's not why they burnt it down. Yeah. Um, only time we t- had a real delay was when Mike, remember we bought the beers in New Brunswick? Oh, but that was too, yeah. Because they didn't it have came beers. from a good place. It, but yeah. never, I've never seen anyone. Yeah, but like, also because they had, they had messed up. The, so they had promised beers to people and people yeah, were upset. But, but that's yeah, why. Yeah. It's not because we showed up late. Yeah, you get yeah, yeah. It? So That's the only time. I remember that was such a good beer run, bro. But other than that, I've never, I would never do it to someone. She's Me been, and Preach went on a mission, bro. I remember that. It was great. Uh, mission. But it made she, the news. She's been they tried famous. to arrest Mike. <laughs> oh, she's yeah, been famous for 45 years. That's why she's completely out of touch. Do you think Madonna knows what a, what a carton of milk no. Exactly. She's out of touch. Completely out of touch from reality. She's out of touch. You're She's out of time. That's a Hall and Oates. By the way, uh, yes. the year 1984 is 40 years old now. And the uh-huh. reason I bring that up is because I went down a rabbit hole on the internet. I'm not even 40. What a weird... Most of the... How old are you? Great. 37. 
No way you're 37. Yeah, bro, I'm old. Jesus Christ, when did that happen? I I, I, I ballparked it. <laughs> but, but, but the reason I'm bringing up... I 19... fuck like I'm 20, but... <laughs> 1984 was such an iconic year. It's like, for me, it's the, it's the, uh, the fours. 1984 was an iconic year for music. Mm. So many hit after hit songs that stood the test of time came out in 1984. I wasn't just, born. Just like 1994 was uh, for movies. Like the, the best year for movies, uh, like the movies that changed the world came out in 94. Really? And and I heard this week that 1984 is 40 years old, obviously, because I don't do math, but it turns out it's been 40 years since... Uh, I'll give you an example of songs like What's Love Got To Do With It, um, Toto Africa, uh, Beat love? It, Michael Jackson, uh, fuck it, like just uh, li- like one after another... I don't, there's the book 1984. But it's yeah, not we're about living that. 1984. Yeah, right now. That's where we are now. Exactly. Hello, big brother. I saw what you did there. Our friend Fauci gaslit an entire planet last week. Good lord. What did he do? Because they asked him. He's, uh, he's again speaking in front of the Congress. He's uh, back. He actually said, bro, I'm, uh, fuck, I don't want to make you guys mad though. Okay, just don't get mad. That's my uh, constant state of being. I know. <laughs> try, try to fight it because you guys are happy. He said. <clears throat> They asked him about all the measures that were taken, the masks, the six feet apart, uh, all the stuff that we hated, the curfews. And he said, uh, why didn't anybody do that? We didn't tell him to do that. That's not even scientific. That no, way. Oh. no way. No yeah. way. He had the balls to even say that. Yeah, yeah. So wow. he gaslit everyone. Yeah. I wonder if that's on purpose. <laughs> wow. Or is he just stupid? He's just an asshole. Yeah, he's just an asshole. Because obviously, he now, he he's obviously now, we, not stupid. now we have proof that it was all nonsense. So he doesn't want to be on the side of nonsense. And even though, oh, and pri- this is the best thing. Even at the time, apparently they said in court, bro, that in private, he kept telling everyone, yeah, bro, these ma- the masks don't do shit. Oh, that's so but bad. But he kept publicly telling people to wear them. That is so what bad. A, I hope, bro, honestly, this guy should rot in jail. This guy scared the shit out of the whole 80s because he told everybody about AIDS, right? Same guy. Yeah, this guy's a scumbag. Yeah. How's this guy still walking around free? How's he Italian? Is he? I don't think he's Italian. That's Italian. Yeah, it's Fauci. Fauci. Do you notice it's Fauci, but there's no CH? Yeah. That's Italian. Oh. Oh. So it's two C's. Uh, uh, Two cocks, like Italians are used to. (laughs) They fucking hate us. They're not mutants. I got the double cocks. Because they do gay shit. (laughs) I'm trying to do a gay joke. Leave the whops alone, Poseidon. (laughs) Gay shit. I'm just trying to fuck with him. Why don't you just try to fuck me? Hey, hey, hey. say put, less. Put on, put on the, the blazer. Yeah. You look I, good, I, by the way. Look, I, I'm not going to lie to you. No, you don't. Uh, you, I'm missing the goddamn sexy beard. I It's coming. It's coming back. You, I do, right now, I got this. Um, we never got more chicks commenting, I love the fucking look, since you they, got your beard. Don't they tell me? Because everyone's fucking scared to approach Sometimes you. Sometimes they're shy, bro. Yeah, you're unapproachable. Yeah, shy you're very... Guy. I will admit, bro, I've seen you out in the wild with very people. Very unapproachable. It's so... You're so insane sometimes. Yeah. But you think you're being normal and being friendly. because yeah, I have no... <laughs> but the thing is, bro, when I'm looking at you from a... Th- bro, the people's face is just... <laughs> That's Just in co- complete... Disbelief. Not even scared. Terror. I just Terror. learned about stream Terror. of consciousness recently. I didn't, I didn't even know it was a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you, you, uh, for some reason you like, you, you're, and I, I, I get your, uh, intention. Like stuff. I'll stream your conscious right fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Um, where were we? I forgot what we were. Oh, we're talking about Fauci. Hold on. Um, yeah, no. So I, I, uh, I enjoyed myself at the, uh, at the third floor comedy club last night. That's my, uh, that's one of my homes around yeah, the city. Very good. Very good room. Very, very good room. Mm-hmm. I, I was the oldest man there. Makes sense. How did that feel? I didn't care. Good. Because you know what comes with age? Long hair don't care. Wisdom. Well, they don't always go hand in hand, my friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it was just fun to be uh, back up there, and uh, Josh uh, was, was funny, and everyone, yeah, it was good. It was good. Good time. Poseidon, we should start a phone sex line. Do you remember that one? Uh, one nine seven six eight five eight five. But we, uh, not remember that, but. It's Adam it, that answers. We, we should do a sketch where we start a phone sex line. But we always get disgusted when the dudes, <laughs> like we're there, we're like, hey, thank you for calling. And the guy's like, hi, what's your name? Like, oh, bro, are you fucking serious, bro? <laughs> 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 but I, you know that That's they were funny. all just, they were all just fishing <clears throat> for, um, it was all, it was always like the girls were hired. I think it's, I have a good bassy, uh, 
a a don. A voice? No, that sounds retarded. Yeah. No, okay. You have a count, hey, normal. Account, basic. Look, uh, the other day I was uh, walking down the street and uh, I noticed you from afar. Oh my God! What did you notice? I noticed that uh, long, beautiful hair of yours. Did you see my cock? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to a club échangiste? Never. No, we he almost we had a whole almost, thing. Almost okay. We were gonna have a very good situation for him, but it was when they restarted the. Uh, it would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly yeah, would have been. been the time of his life. But it would have been an experience. And there was fans there. The guy that owned the place was a fan, uh, yeah. so it would have been good. But it was literally. The same week where they had restarted the curfews and they, they closed the place down. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna, you're gonna picture this because I know you guys know what I'm talking about where it is. So yeah, uh, if, what's it called in English? Swingers clubs. Yeah, yeah. swingers yeah. club. It's, okay, so if you are, I shut up, bro. Terrible. There were no swings anywhere. <laughs> so if you if you're on <laughs> if you're on Renilla, why are you guys <laughs> naked? <laughs> what's the fucking dress code here? <laughs> hey, hey, it's, buddy, put some fucking pants on, <laughs> and it smells like feet. <laughs> Uh, if if you're tu sens de pied, bro. <laughs> if you're on uh, Renil- Ça de fesse, man. <laughs> if, if you're on Renilovec going east, all right, <laughs> and then you turn left up Saint Laurent. Yeah, yeah? You, you know where I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're on Renilovec. You're going east. I know exactly the, the intersection. Village? It's okay. one of my most hated intersections no, okay. in the now city. Now you turn left one of the most to hateable to, ones. You turn yeah. left to go to the 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 comedy. Uh, yeah, you go through yeah, Chinatown. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you turn left the Montreal pool room and the yeah, hot. Yeah. Th- okay. That building right here, I, I think it used to be like David Electronic or whatever, some shit, right? That first building when you're turning left at that, that used to be a club échangiste. I drive by that shit and I'm like, oh man. If That's I remember, a funny sketch too, by the way. Sorry, I completely disregarded <laughs> what you were I'm saying. I'm just telling you, that used to be a fucking swingers club and yeah, I went there once. There's right? a fun was, sketch there. There's of, a fun sketch of a guy showing up and but there's not no knowing and he's it, complaining and he thinks it's swings and no, shit. No, 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 forget the swings. That's too basic. You have to, yeah. It's just a guy not knowing and doesn't catch on, but he's upset about everything. Yeah. Well, so this like, is, fuck it, bro, put some fucking pants on. <laughs> That's funny. I know we live in a free country, bro. Why I don't see your dick why everywhere. You but this hey, is lady. <laughs> What is hey, some lady. kind of animal? Look, this look, 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 lady, I know you're proud of your body, but uh, you look like shit. You reek of feet. <laughs> but this is the, the reason I brought this up is uh, uh, when you said the joke about the uh, 1-800 lines and it's all dudes, there are plants. Mm. They bring a knockout woman there and then uh, guys come back and it's just a bunch of places mm. where a bunch of guys just pay money. So then I realize I'm, I feel like I'm in a fucking YMCA locker room. It's yeah. like, uh, like, you get just him? a bunch of naked dudes. Y- Michelle could do phone sex. So she tur- has a voice for that. Right. Oh, so that's yeah. that's what I mean. That's the whole scam. So it with... turns into a gay club, basically. But yeah. the difference <laughs> is correct. He's absolutely right. <laughs> so Guido's like, I thought it was a different Saturday. It was the same Saturday. <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then when I was in New York and I was all, you know, svelte, uh, a girl wanted to take me to one, but then uh, it, it didn't happen for not the reason you're going to make a joke about right now. Uh, but we had to send in our photos to be approved. That's now, actually more insulting. Those are the ones that uh, are the real ones, let's say. I don't know why you thought we were going to make fun of you no, worse no, than what I you was just gonna said. Say, no, because That's I was going to say, like, listen, no, because oh, I got, oh, 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 but I got uh, that. Look, I was about to go. I, I don't want to brag, but I was invited to a high-end swingers club. However, I couldn't <laughs> make it. Long story short, they wanted to... See my photo and uh, they no, didn't let me. No, in. no, we, we we got approved. We got, oh, that's okay, what I'm saying. Yeah. We got approved. Because the way what, it sounded, it was know, like you didn't go because you did no, not. No, get we got approved. like for Luxie when I got a, a approved on Luxie. Right? Yeah, when they I, don't do a good background check on Luxie. Uh, when I <laughs> when I sold cars, I had a coworker that uh, basically all he would do is go to these swingers clubs and he would go to these like pop up swingers they're clubs. Sickening, bro. Bro, he would bang old. Yeah. That's uh, who's there. Married women. That's High who's five. there. Wrinkly yeah. old uh, married women. And then he would basically bang them and the husband would watch. Yeah. you. It's that, the house, that's kind of sick to me. I, I, don't, like the, I don't like the cuck yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's not no, for me. but it's not even. It's just that it's all Point Claire, bro. You want swingers clubs? They're all in, in the West Island. It's all people that have been married a that's long time. It's interesting that it's in the West Island. It's all It's all the burbs, bro. The yeah. burbs. They get people, bored. They get bored. Yeah. That's they don't it. Go and, cool and, and comedy shows. They don't do podcasts. Long Island. It's all the uh, Jersey. It's, it's the same. It's burbs everywhere. That's people get bored. They have the fucking fuck mowing the lawn. I'm gonna fuck my wife and watch that guy fuck my wife. It's, you it's gotta, awful. That's why you gotta keep know. busy. You gotta always yeah. do shit. Correct. Yeah. I, they, they, the swingers clubs are. N- there's nothing attractive about it. Honestly, it's disgust. I like. I, I went and like. Eh, I wouldn't go again. Uh, it's like going to someone else's room. Yeah. And there's nine people who smell like feet. Correct. It's absolutely. Bro, you, you ever been to the fucking YMCA locker room? 
That's what a fucking swingers Have club I smells been like. There. Yeah, but that's what a swingers club smells like. I it's used a, to live it's there. A lot of people don't wash. It's a lot of unsuspecting assholes were filled in there. <laughs> it smells like ball cheese. I, I'd rather Aww. watch an old man uh, fucking. You ever notice it's always the old men walking around naked in a... Because yeah, they don't care anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's what's... And you know what I think it is? Also, I think for the longest time, they may have had, like, small penises when they were younger. And now that it hangs lower, it <laughs> seems like it's bigger. And they're like, yeah, bro, now I got a big dick, bro. And they feel like they got to show it off because, like, they never had a dick hanging so low. My friends call me Charlie. From now on, you people in this locker room, you call me Big Dick Charlie. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, on, the, on the count of my big dick. It's, it's been in the back of my mind. I really need to or, uh, uh, exercise again. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, I don't think you've ever exercised. No, I did. When, I, did. Was, uh, when I was next door being a fucking champ, uh, I would, I'm not kidding, I'd, I'd be in the car by 7.15. My appointment with the trainer was at 8.00. I would walk out of that gym. You at told nine. me you've never stepped foot in a gym. What are you talking about? No, you have selective hearing. I had a I had a very good trainer. I bro with the rope. You know that fucking rope. That sucks. what did you ever I, do? You've told me, bro. I lost weight. I never stepped foot in a gym. No, no that is how you lost weight. That is say, how you lost weight. I didn't say that the gym is what made me yeah, lose weight. That's the what he gym said. gets the blood flow and everything, but yeah. it had oh. nothing to do with my diet. No, no, he lost weight when he went on a diet, but he yeah. went to the gym because he wanted to be Jack Diesel and 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 oh. and, and and blood flow and and feeling good. Yeah, yeah, okay, bro, I get it. So I would like I'm saying I'd walk in at eight. Get the shit kicked out of me by nine oh one. I was good. That's amazing. And yeah, I, of course. That's and while training. I was, but but, where to? What do they call it? Supersets or whatever the fucking the shit like where you don't stop. There's no break in between. Or super sex. I was. That's I was a good club. No, that's a club that doesn't exist anymore. Who has that sign? Anyway, I'd be dripping. He yeah. made me plank. I'd have to plank. I wanted to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did he have an accent? Was he like no? He plank, was, uh, plank for me. Plank, from, plank. From, no, he's a. Was wop, he Asian? No, he's a wop from this neighborhood. Quiro, just walk on plank, uh, bro. Yeah, he had the he had the body of a statue, the motherfucker. Good. Literally, yeah. His abs had abs. Yeah, he also had the brain of a statue. That was the problem. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. That's I got funny. it. Uh, but good guy. I can't believe his name's slipping my mind. But it doesn't Do you matter. remember our personal trainer, Nick? No, no, no. There was no, one no, no, no. before. Uh, Poseidon got into a feud with, and then <laughs> and then I think the guy the guy had a Pakistani street gang that he joined, and he threatened Poseidon's life, and then we left. He did. I don't even remember. You remember with his boys. He threatened my life. Yeah, he had sent the photo, That's and we funny. all laughed online. I think I didn't take it seriously. That's why I don't yeah, remember. The photo <laughs> with him and five Pakistanis, like these I are my at boys. At some point, he wanted to convert me to Judaism or something. He's not even Jewish. Yeah, you. He told me he was Jewish. No, he wasn't. It was funny that he wanted to convert you into yeah, Judaism, was, but he wasn't. What a Jewish. fucking asshole! That's what a funny. piece of shit, bro! I remember. That's very funny. He I just get... wanted to see if you could dig. <laughs> Let's see if Poseidon wants to be a. Oh no. <laughs> It was an exercise. It's like, uh, yeah, bro, I gotta make some randoms at my place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would I dig? What are you, aren't you a Jew, bro? Pick, pick, up, pick up this rock and bring it there for no reason. Oh, uh, shit. Man, that's awful. Um, I remember uh, I remember people would snitch on me that I had a... In fact, bro, from time to time, I'd have like a Bambino pizza, bro, at the shisha place. You know, I enjoyed smoking shisha, bro, and people would, like, somebody would tell him. And then, like, he'd get mad, bro. I got so pissed off. Bro, I think I yelled at him. I go, bro, man, you're a, bro, I'm a grown ass man, bro. I can do whatever the fuck I want, bro. I told him like this, bro. <laughs> it got Did you so have bad. A, a, tra a boxing trainer that used to come to my restaurant? Whatever happened to that guy? Steve? Boxing? Oh, this guy. This guy was a cool ass dude, bro. He was great. He was. Uh, fuck, Steve, something. I saw him again recently. And Did he told you really? Me, yes, he told me to swing by his gym, but I forgot okay. where his gym is. Okay, so he, I go to Park X. I go upstairs, what looks like, a, I don't know, a pawn shop or something. All of a sudden, I'm in a gym. Bigger than this on Jean Talon, huge. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, on top of the bank. This yeah, knockout, guy, knockout or something. He made money somewhere because he's not worried about money. He was just rolling bats, uh, ordering pizza. And, yes, I know exactly who you're talking about. Super chill yeah, dude. Good guy. He was at some point at Fit for Life. Uh, he hadn't made his money yet. He's like Italian, but looks like a biker or something. I think. Yes, yes, right? yes. Very cool dude. Good guy. He uh he wanted me because at some point there there was a moment in time a very short moment uh, where well, I kind of box. I, I kind of wanted to become a boxer. Well, he has a full Rocky Balboa gym in there, bro. It's amazing. But the thing is, what happened I, when I was doing boxing? I think I was doing boxing for like a year, a year and a half. And what happened was I almost ripped the tendon in my ankle, so I stopped. Mm. And then I went back to it, but I was too hurt and blah blah blah. And then I restarted boxing again at uh I think at. How old was I at Fit for Life? And he was there. Steve, Steve something. He would always call me Frankie. Funny guy. 
Because uh, he goes, uh, you, you look and sound like a Frankie. Like, you know how we call Frankie to handle business. So he would talk like that. I go, okay, I guess I'm Frankie, whatever. And he would train, and he was, uh, like, he was actually impressed with my ability. Gosh, I haven't seen boxing. that guy in years. I, I don't even know if he still lives in the neighborhood. And he tried to motivate me to get back into boxing, but I was like, ah, fuck this. I started work, bro. I was like. Okay, I'll tell you who he looks like. I just realized it. Did you, okay, you saw Breaking Bad? Um, yeah. Okay, you know at the end when when uh, Walt is going to use that machine gun there on that whole gang of bikers? At the end of the, the, the whole series. Oh, the, I, didn't, I didn't. Actually, you just, uh, I don't know why I answered yes, but I haven't watched Breaking okay, Bad. Okay, he looks exactly <laughs> like the main bad guy, bro. I love that. I, there is something amazing. He's, he's familiar with default it. settings yeah. are live. Yeah. That's and you can't know. change it. That's how the computer was made. The, the, the motherboard was built that way. It's his default setting for no reason. He had zero admits. reason to say that. And he even thought about it. I have it on. He thought about it for a second. He's like, yeah. If you would have committed <laughs> about it, bro, he's still bullshit. I love it. All you needed to do was just say yeah. Again, he's a lie detector. And yeah, I would have believed you. He's a lie yeah. detector's worst enemy. That's so funny. He's get confused. Believe his own yeah, shit. Exactly. For a that's why. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, so I, um, <laughs> I don't even know why. I was just, it was it's, just, it's your default setting. It was just, I think I know why because I actually watched a bit of it because of my brothers. My brothers were watching. But I, was on, I don't believe that. But yeah, I no, was but on the computer, so I was watching. I was half watching. You know what? It's it's uh, in my that. personal opinion, it's as good, if not better, than The Sopranos. It's very good. Don't you I, dare insult The Sopranos like that ever. I, I actually watched. Uh, uh, you know when um, Bacala and Christopher have their podcast. Yeah, uh, I watched the, the the Steve Buscemi one yesterday. Any good? You mean? Yeah, he's great. Yeah, mean, it's uh, Buscemi, but it's, he says no, Buscemi. It's Steve Buscemi. Well, he he says Buscemi like Tara, Buscemi. Tara Kenestracy, but I know it's Buscemi. But it's Buscemi. All right, but uh, <laughs> All he's right. great. He's a great actor, uh, Steve. Yes. Uh, you know, at some point in time, Steve Angelina Bishamel. Jolie and him kind of looked alike. I, yeah. It's so sick that I actually know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're actually it's, right. It's the googly eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about the googly and eyes. And then he went downhill and she rose. <laughs> no, I think he's a legend. She and stole she's his the one life going for No, no, I'm not talking about like career-wise. I'm talking about looks-wise. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm still sticking with what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Uh, he, uh, Steve I saw one of the gayest videos the other day. Was it a guy coming on another guy's face? Oh, no, no, I was no, no, looking no. at my cell phone and I had the <laughs> fucking selfie side on. Gayer than that. What's gayer than that? I saw this. First of all, there was that video you showed me of the dance where the school shooter bro comes in and they break out into Dance Dance Revolution 1800. Nothing gayer than school shootings going on. There was on. that video. Um, and then there was a video, bro. I don't know why it was so cringe. It was basically like Angelina Jolie's gay. What does that mean? Her gaze, like her and eyes, like, the way she looks. Like G A Z. Oh, no, no, her okay. gaze, like her look, okay, like okay. can make any person. Not Angelina fold. Jolie's men. And it was basically a. Right. Uh, uh, uh. yeah. <laughs> Those were her gaze. Like, she has a gang of homosexuals. She has her, her, her visual okay. gaze. Yeah, these not, are my gaze. Not, not her gaze, like the gay people. Like, like how these my father the would say. These are the Jolie honeys. These are your gaze. These are the yeah. Jolie Jolies. No, 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 and uh, and. Uh, Basically, it was a whole video where she sat down on a chair, and then people would sit across from her, and basically they, they would fold from her gaze. Fold. Like they would. They were like, "Oh, they, I can't handle. It's too much." And you know what gay. I see when I see her eyes? Bro, I, saw I see this. her father's eyes. So that's not first, gonna happen. I thought. <laughs> yeah, fucking Bro, John Boyd looking at me. And then there were some grown men sitting in that chair. I was like, "How are you, as a grown man, are gonna sit in a chair across from a woman?" Yes, I will admit, Angelina Jolie. At some point, I even had a crush on her. Especially she's the tool, beautiful. Especially the I like tool raider. Yeah. I like how he says, "I will admit." I like will he's the best exactly. catch, and she's, a <laughs> mid, she's one of the fucking most beautiful yeah, yeah. women. You're he's gonna like, do I will her admit. a favor. Especially, I, I didn't mean it that way, you assholes. But anyways, it's funny. Um, in, especially in Tomb Raider, I loved her in Tomb Raider. Gorgeous. I was like, damn. You know, uh, I think I, when I was a teenager, I jerked off to her in Tomb Raider. Anyways, that's besides the point. I believe it. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> So, but imagine being a, a, a grown ass man sitting in a chair across from Angelina Jolie, and you're gonna go. Uh -huh. Well, Brad Pitt was across from her for years and said, "Fuck this, I'm leaving." <laughs> so his Asian son hates him. Well, that's because he was drunk on a plane and probably slapped his son. So, what are you gonna do? His Asians don't like being slapped, bro. What are you um, gonna tell you? What are you gonna do? You were talking about gays yeah. in the military. I was no, I mean uh, a gays like from a woman, and uh, I, 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 I had a moment. With um, Charlize Theron. Oh, shit. One of the most beautiful women on the planet. 
Uh, hold on, isn't Debatable. that that broad there where was she in the mask? No, no that's, uh, you're talking that's about Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. No, Charlize oh. Theron is, uh, is she, you know who she is, man. She's gorgeous. She's an Oscar winner, man. Fucking who the hell? How do I? How do you Fuck, explain? Bro. Okay, I'll bring her up. Yeah, please. <sighs> anyway, so I, I'm, um, I'm, um. Doing, was uh, she in uh, Charlie's do- Angels? No, no, she was. Again, it gets Cameron. She was in. Oh, she was in Devil's know. Advocate and bro. Monster. Uh, she was on. in Monster. She won an Oscar. For, she's one of the most beautiful women on the planet. Yeah. Uh, um. So, so I, I. She in, was in uh, what? In what? Monster. I'm bringing it up right now, bro. She was right there. Anyway, so. Uh, I was uh, I was in this movie there with, with her and um. Seth Rogen. That's not what, what the she fuck looks, is this, bro? Well, that's not what she oh, looks yeah. like. Yeah, okay. On the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what, left, what she looks like there. in the movie. That's what she looks like in real life. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Okay. That was a very yeah. angry response. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, <laughs> how the fuck are you? How could you even stand in the same room as this woman? That's, that's weird. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I, I'm... Um, <laughs> he got angry. Yeah. <laughs> he got <laughs> out <laughs> So, he showed up an ugly woman, and the man was offended. <laughs> So I forgot. I will not stand for this. <laughs> I, I forgot whatever movie oh, uh, she was filming here, but it was. Where's the humanity? Yeah, in that picture, she's gorgeous, bro. Well, w- which one? This one? Yeah, that one on the right. Though. Yeah, yeah, she's she's. And the, I don't know what the fuck happened in the left, bro. That's well, that's, that's her that's playing her without serial makeup. killer Arlene Warnos. If she won an Oscar makeup, for that no shit. makeup beside him. Honest, uh, she can go fuck herself. She's for that. like a prettier Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Don't Whoa. you ever hey, speak. Don't you ever fucking talk about Scarlett like that? So, with the with her mommy milkies like that, bro. Never again, bro. So, you mean milkers, not milkies. Milkers, whatever. Okay, so what's this movie that Seth Rogen made here with her? Uh, the the one where he, candidate something with the candidate the uh, uh, circus <laughs> cir- circus Andy Circus was uh, uh, playing with Donald Trump. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so it's a famous scene where Seth Rogen, being Seth Rogen, comes in with his friend. And he goes, <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. And, it, and and it's a party because it's a big penthouse. It's a high rise penthouse yeah. in New York City. And uh, he's like, oh look at that, Boys to Men is there, and it's actually Boys to Men, right? You know the fucking whatever the I Boys to Men, the singers there. And I thought uh, you were talking about boys in the hood no, no, for some no, reason. No, no, uh, no. Let's not I wait till the water <laughs> dries. The fucking acapella black guys, right? Acapella. So, uh, me and uh, Robert Cordelion, the two most. Uh, you said that as if I know who it is. You should know who he is. You don't uh, know my buddy, uh, Robert Cordelion. So, we're, we're, <laughs> we're being the two whoppiest fucking gangster types that would not be at this um, concert dancing in the front, being into it. Uh, I was very gay. That was one that was of the odd. gayest things you've ever did. No, blowing you was. That's a team building exercise. <laughs> yes. so, so Motivational what meeting. I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the director yells cut. So everybody scatters. All right, uh, extras go to holding or whatever bullshit. Uh, and I uh, I hang out and I'm sitting on um, the, the staircase. No, I'm sitting on the stage. Of this uh, boys to men waiting for my friend. I don't know what I'm saying. Are you trying to turn us on? Yeah. So I'm sitting, I was saying, across from me is the staircase, the grand staircase of this um, penthouse apartment. And Charlize sits down, starts uh, sucking on her vape because she's trying to quit smoking. When was this? A couple of years ago. So now her and I share a gaze. And the gaze was, she was looking at one. That she noticed, that I noticed, she was not wearing underwear. Because she was Aww. right across from me, perfectly across. And then she checked to see if I saw that she's not wearing underwear. That's a moment that nobody can take away from me. That so you made sure she you was there on uncomfortable? She was, pretend I was uh, there on that couch. And this wall wasn't here, and you were sitting here, and you had your legs open. That's how far I went. And I was the only one on that set that noticed uh, the happiest place on earth for a second. So you you saw Charlize Theron's pussy. And she saw me see it. Nice. That's and that's be, why you the, haven't worked in film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, she... Uh, you know who else... But when, when you see them in person, they're like, Jesus Christ, this woman is a lot more beautiful than I thought. Now I know why she's a movie star. Who dis? I never would have in a million years would have described to you Anne Hathaway being gorgeous. Anne Hathaway's beautiful. Anne, Anne Hathaway Hathaway's in real beautiful. life? I know a girl who looks like her. Bro, you know when they have that ding? 
that it factor. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this girl. That sparkle in the Anne eye. Hathaway is stunning. Anne Hathaway uh, is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. I'm with you. I doubled down on that. And I didn't know that because of Princess Diaries or whatever. You know who's an underrated beauty? The Rock. Uh, no, he's overrated. Overrated. Um, no, what's her name, bro? She was in uh, Thor, the Thor movies. She was Natalie the, Portman. Yes. Oh, very yeah. No, but I've always beauty. thought she was beautiful. Nah, but uh, very especially like, I noticed, in Leon. No, like she was a kid I, I, there. I Fuck see off. her, like I see her from the Star Wars days and everything, and now it's like, damn, bro, she's a broad ski. But because it's that thing that the camera just picks up that you can't. It's a, what they call a je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Uh, and, and, and 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 I don't I will, know why I'm doing that. Today. I will be. I will. I will be uh, 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 on both sides. Uh, I, uh, I've uh. I've uh, stood. I was looking at a a, a camera. Um, a t- um, Tell, oh, not a teleprompter. You were looking at uh, Charlie Theron's. Uh... I was uh, I was on the Aviator, uh-huh. Scorsese movie, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm." Oh, on you were on the Aviator, and I'm looking at the uh, the monitor because they're doing playback. Okay. And DiCaprio comes to look at the same monitor. He's like, who's got, this old guy? <laughs> he's got the Kleenex in his neck, you know, like they just put makeup on. Mm. And I'm now as close to DiCaprio's face as I am to this microphone. What do you smell like? No way. And and I look to my right and I'm like, Did you kiss him? Obviously. But I don't want to ruin his makeup. But I look to my right and I'm like, fuck, that's why this guy's a movie star. <laughs> really? You I feel swear it. to God. You feel I, it. I, I, oh, he that. felt it all right. Yeah. On yeah. his ribs. <laughs> no, but I'm just I'm literally saying, like, it's you'll see when you see some of these people, you're like, ah, I get it now. Yeah. It, this reminds me of uh Tom Segura's joke when he met Brad Pitt. Bruce Willis was saying his new special. Have you seen yeah. it? We're not going to burn Segura's jokes on I've here. Met, Carry I've on. Met, uh, Brad Pitt too? It's public information. It's not public information. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Brad special. Pitt is as skinny as this microphone. That's what I remember from him. That's it. But he was wearing old man makeup when I'm, so I couldn't really tell you if he was beautiful or not. Not the, not the no, 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 no. Stop talking, bro. You're trying to incriminate yourself. <laughs> He's so, I'm trying to help bro, him, bro. I can't believe you, bro. You are. He's. I'm. Oh. I'm um, I thought it was the first one, not the. Oh okay, my. Whatever, anyway. You could never be a criminal. Bro, you do not want to break into a museum to steal a work of art with me. I'm going to knock a vase over. What knock so, a vase over? You're going to call the cops. You're like, by the way, I'm robbing this place. <laughs> you're the type of guy to... <laughs> you're the type of guy, bro, to, you know, successfully get away from the crime. You rob a bank. You go through everything. And then, like, a month later, you realize, like, I don't know, like, you realize, like, uh, the, 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 the thing that blows up, the ink. What's it called? The something patch? Oh, the the okay. You rob a bank and then the money blows up to show that you stole the. Yeah, yeah there's it. a ink patch or whatever ink, it's called ink, in yeah. the money, and somehow you find it and and uh, it doesn't blow up and you call guys, you uh, and you call the cops and go, guys, I found an ink patch. Somebody robbed a bank and it was you this whole time. Like I mean, you're he, the type of guy to pull shit off. Like even that. worse, he calls the bank and go, hey, by the way, um, yeah, sorry, I, I stole money from you guys. How do I get rid of this ink patch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got my address. Just send someone over to come. I'm gonna tell you a true story right now. You know, before uh, Christmas we, in high school, we always have the Christmas exams. Yeah. All right. Do we? So uh, it's science, and you know, uh, I ain't one for science. So I decide to write a lot of shit on my hand. After I write write the exam, I'm everything's great, fucking perfect. Oh, that was a lot easier than I oh, thought. Oh, you lift your hand and you. No, no, don't I go shake the fucking teacher's hand to say Merry Christmas? No. <laughs> That's the kind of shit. He caught I do. you. That's funny. Yeah, that's a true story. So yeah, don't rob a bank with me. <laughs> I never thought of doing that. Yeah. So yeah, that is the um, person you were talking about. Poseidon, you were talking about uh, 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 the gayest things. Yes. Um, there are things that are very gay in life. Now, no. gay in what way? Uh, like homosexual. Always homosexual or just sometimes that's gay? Because in the 80s, we would call people a fag and it had nothing to do with homosexuality. Well, I like it. Uh, no, a fag always had something to do with homosexuality. Really? Were you around in the 80s? No. So how do you answer that question? Yeah, it's, 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 because gay <laughs> used to mean happy, but fag used to mean a bundle of sticks. Nobody exactly. called. Nobody called anyone so a bundle. You just contradicted yourself. Oh, yeah, you don't even have to. Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I, I told you his instinct is to go to the lie. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. All right, bring up your list. I'm tired. All right, of the gayest things that, you know, in life. This week's <laughs> top five and a half gayest animals. Okay. I'm looking at one of them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these animals are gay. 
Yeah. All right. The key is out of All right. Number five, a giraffe. Why you got that long ass neck, bro? You're trying to suck elephant dick, bro. Like, what the fuck is happening? <coughs> so yeah. you are Nothing implying... Nothing is gayer than the, the stuff you're saying, by the way. <laughs> so you are implying that the over evolution, the neck of the giraffe has elongated the suck because of all the, the elephant biggest dicks. dicks just, to got just to suck the biggest dicks on the planet. So would you say in, a, in, in 2,000 years, uh, a lot of cocksuckers will have long necks? They already do. Look at the look at the gays. They usually have longer necks. None of this. I just is... made that up. Yeah, exactly. That's, I'm going by your theory of uh, your Darwin theory of giraffes uh, have to clearly have been gay. Work. Fun fact though about the giraffes, I read something that they apparently have uh, in the wild. They've observed them to have more homosexual relationships than uh, uh, heterosexual relationships. I'm gonna do my part in all this and make sure that a bunch of gay dudes. Listen beat him up behind an alley <laughs> <laughs> just to reverse the roles of what used to happen. That's um, <clears throat> that's um, it's funny you said that. I mean, I made a joke like this, similar to that. It's first funny thing we heard all day, but no, I'm kidding. No, no, um, no, because no, I fuck, what did I say, bro? I said something about like, fuck, he's so gay that even gay dudes would beat him up in an alleyway. I said something similar. Now what happens there? Like they 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 just eat the apples at the top of the tree. They, well, they can't go down. They're very tall. That's it. So that's through evolution. No, that's just how they are. It's for leaves. Yeah. Well, so they they eat, eat the so other animals. They eat the top and they don't eat the bottoms. Ah, it's a gay joke. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing more at the way you both react. You guys are making a case for everyone just to become gay. <laughs> So that we don't reproduce and we don't have any more use. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just they eat the top and then other animals eat the stuff on the bottom. So they have a nice little ecosystem where they don't fuck with each other. Bottom feeders. They're, They're top, top feeders. feeders. <laughs> Next on your yeah. shit list. <clears throat> What's another gay animal beside him? <laughs> Number four, pigeons. Well, that's why they're fucking uh, shitting all over the place because they ain't no sex. They can't hold their shit in. Oh, that's you know, why they what shit the on statues. Fuck is they going shit, on. That's why they shit all over the place, and that's how we get fucking pigeon shit in our fucking Tim Horton sandwiches. So you're implying that I don't every, know what happened, you guys. This was a good podcast, and you turned you, it. You are so <laughs> juvenilely stupid. You are implying that pigeons have prolapsed anuses. Exactly. And that's why the statues in New York City are full of shit. Exactly. They're always just having gay <laughs> anal sex, and that's why they're this always shitting so all over the place, bro. They, they don't make it. They don't. They can't make it to like. Let Did the an eight-year-old write this list? Let, let, let the all... record show. I came here with a list ready that I've been texting him about all day. About uh, hold on, in... hold on. You guys worked on this list as a team? No, no he worked on a list. I worked on the list. When I, while I was and working, and then we were tired outside smoking. Ah, fuck it. Let's do and something. And I go, to, you know, what would be funny, bro. A list about the gayest animals. <laughs> and I said, so... I'll write it down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So this was this was a team team uh, effort. Uh, you know, I was going to talk about uh, you know so uh, um, weather experiments and. Yeah, that would have been a better list, but uh, let's, Tucker, let's keep going. Uh, tel Tesla, yeah. Number three, pythons. This, oh, I wonder where this is this, going. Well, this one honest. I kind of don't mind. I, 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 I was gonna say I wrote. I told him like, okay, python. Yeah, long snake. And he's like, no. And go on. Why? We've all seen how they can open their mouth and swallow a, an animal whole, bro. Like that's know, that's kind of gay, bro. If you can fit all that in your mouth, bro. You could fit quite a lot in your <laughs> mouth. <sir. laughs> <laughs> It could just ask cock and everything, bro. Just now the whole animal. All right, right, next. <laughs> we have to write letters to Christopher Street and <laughs> Gay Village and <clears throat> apologies everywhere. Number two, cats. I would argue the gayest walk in the animal kingdom. Bro, even the male cats, uh, it, even the, the all cats to me are women, are like are, are, are feminine. Yeah. <laughs> even the, 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 the cats must have the gayest walk in the animal kingdom. Just. Yeah. Why and they're always lifting their asses like you give them. Yeah. bro. My cat, oh, bro, he'll he'll come, he'll come like next to me and he wants like pets and shit. And he likes butt scratches, but the way he lifts his ass is like the gayest yeah. thing on the planet, bro. Sometimes I, like sometimes it's so much, I gotta go, bro, calm down. And he looks at me like this, like what, bro? But what if it was like <laughs> but what if you're like if it's a tiger, the a, 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 a thousand pound tiger, it does it walk gay? Uh no, but those are apex predators, my friend. Apex. Yeah. I used to know a guy Besides that was, a spandex predator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cats. Um, hey, 
you know actually fun fact the way that cats walk is um so like that the Pretty first gay. no the first step that they took they know is the safe it's a safe spot to step in therefore the second step that they take let's say the, it'll the be pop, in the same it'll spot. be in the exact same spot that's cool I got that. Uh, because they know that the first step they took is safe, safe. and it and it's innate. It's like, uh, like you know, like when we're getting out of the car, walking through this pile of snow, we go through the tracks. Exactly, that's wonderful. Same thing. Yeah, that's so. very smart for that stupid animal. Yeah, they're yeah. actually very intellect. I by think. The way. How I dare you? I don't like cats. All right, next. The, my on favorite your list. cats is a delicatessen that serves matzo ball soup with a K. Go on. You know which cat I want? I would like to, if I were to own a cat. I like dogs more, but I like cats too. A uh, Maine Coon. Okay, I'll get you. They one. look like mini lions. Yeah, they're that big. sounds racist. No, what? no, they do. They look like mini. They look like Min, little tigers. How's mini lion racist? No, what's it called? What it's you a Maine coon. coon. What? A Maine, a Maine coon. coon. That's what it's called. Yeah. It's because okay, the reason why is because they originated in the state of Maine or somewhere th along there, yeah. and basically they thought it was a raccoon for the longest time, but then then they realized it wasn't it's a, a raccoon, it was a cat. So that's oh, why they called the, the Maine way, coon. You just reminded me that with the raccoons, yeah. I filmed this. A raccoons. Supposed to be in Mexico? I guess. They're kind of everywhere. Where Are they really in Mexico? Where saw garbage them. is, raccoons exist. So they're know. in Mexico. Bro, I, I saw <laughs> raccoons in Mexico, and I'm like, this animal's not supposed to be here. No, that's what they thought about you. <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, okay, what's the next? Raccoons are international, bro. I didn't they're know that. I didn't they're know international that. Uh, bank robbers. I didn't recognize him because he was wearing a mask. Oh, my God. Number one. Flamingo. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, flamingos, I would say, gayest animal in the animal uh, It is kingdom. associated with the gays. First of all, yeah. it's pink. Imagine how gay mm. you have to be that, you know, like, zebras evolved to have stripes to confuse predators and shit. Imagine how much of a gay animal you have to be to evolve into the color pink. So yeah, that's you could get thing. into the club. Yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> what if he's a fan of the singer? That's, that's the first thing. Second thing is, They're in you, South know, Beach. you know how much more comfortable it is to stand on two feet than one? Don't they, put they make it a point. To stand, stand on, one, on leg. one leg, bro. Do you know how fucking gay that is, bro? You know who likes to be uncomfortable? The gays. There you go, bro. Always taking it in the ass. That's uncomfortable. This is so stupid. Yeah, that is. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so th yeah, they are in South Beach, and and where there's uh, in South Beach is very gay. <clears throat> That's where the flamingos are. <laughs> <laughs> Next week's episode with unemployed Sidon is going to be amazing. <laughs> we had it, bro. I was talking right, what's about... what's your half? Yeah. You know what? So, this list sounded like a really good idea earlier. To you. <laughs> I realized I it's said, no let's, longer, let's it's no longer it. been a good idea. I just uh, said, I'm going to run it through our HR department. We'll see <laughs> that I, go. I didn't have to... Oh, um... uh, shit. Uh, this one, uh, by the way, it was not my idea. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah it's no. probably I love okay. throwing him under the bus right yeah. away. Before. And the half, homos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's pretty funny. It works on the <laughs> uh, He wrote that, but it's uh, funny. Poseidon, you know when a list crashes and... <laughs> right, it's, uh, face you right know when a, when a list crashes and burns? Yes. Tell me what happened at the Eiffel Tower. Oh, Eiffel Tower's on fire. Did you notice that? I did, did not notice that because I don't live near the Eiffel well, Tower. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you see the news? I did not see the news. So a uh, fire broke out. A tourist uh, said, I think it's a bullshit story. I think How do it you has like... The thing is all metal. It looks like the La Chapelle Bridge. How do you like that on fire? Uh, if you're Algerian it, enough, you where can... Where does it catch fire? <laughs> it's, all, it's all gypsies. I was waiting for it. <laughs> but it's all gypsies downstairs. Like, uh, you walk down that... Uh, that pair. No, I, I mean it. No, uh, but the fire started upstairs. Because that street that street is what? Père Lachaise? Yeah, it's, it's filled with hunchbacks. Louis Vuitton and all that shit. Yeah. And then down downstairs is literally gypsies begging for money. Uh, yeah. And at the top is uh, the plot of Superman 2, when he takes the elevator into space from exploding. So... What? In Superman 2, that's what happens. I don't think I watched Superman 2. It's good. And uh, the, 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 <coughs> uh, the elevator is where the, the fire starts. And uh, to save the French people, Superman takes the elevator into space. and makes it explode there. Christopher Reeve. Oh, I think I may have seen Superman. Yeah, yeah he, he has an S on his uh, sh shirt. He's a superhero. And now he's got an S on his spine. Hey. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, it's not nice. So what happened? Did they put the fire out? I have no idea. Actually, it caught on fire, um, and uh, I, I suspect this is terrorism. They don't want to say it, but this is this is crazy because like it's it's all metal, like he said. Yeah. And the, the fact for the whole thing to catch on fire, and the, the whole he, thing's on fire. The whole thing was on fire, bro. I saw pictures. It was crazy, bro. Pull pull that shit up. <clears throat> 
But the Notre also, Dame, uh, bro, Notre Dame uh, uh, church there is almost gone. I mean, it was it was almost down to zero. Another suspicious thing that about this is terror. that is that yeah. they're saying that the fire stayed stayed it started yeah. it, start, <laughs> it started up at the higher levels of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. So but what, the thing is, it doesn't fire make sense. It rises it rises. Doesn't yeah, it doesn't, doesn't yeah. go yeah. down. So how did the if it started up, they used thermite paint. How did it spread down? Yeah, it does not. Because we've not. always said people on lower floors are safer, if, especially yeah, if a yeah. fire starts Heat up. Heat rises. Heat rises. Yeah. Fires up. Are you uh, sure? Because it's not in the news. I, 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 I Googled it and I had the... Uh, Poseidon gets his uh, uh, news from All Star Hip Hop. Um, Eiffel Tower fire type. Uh, I did. Yeah, look, I have it on Im images. It's not on fire. Okay, you have it on images, but is it real? Go to the news. Yeah, go to news. Tell yeah, the news. What, not what's the news story? <laughs> this didn't catch nothing fire. Oh, this was 2003. Oh, all right. Fucking guy. Man. Jesus Christ. This is why Justin what? Trudeau says that we're fucking pushing disinformation. Oh, no, bro. I believe you. No! I believe them. I believe them because I don't watch the news. The fucking guy. No. I'm sorry. I apologize to okay, everybody. I can, I can tell you this. Um, <laughs> Whoopsie. They had a big um, um, uh, memorial to be more <laughs> right. he's, he's rubbing. He's so let the right off camera. Uh, Pantelis is rubbing his eyes like in, uh, in, in fatigue. Uh, um, okay. Oh, in in, in uh, uh, last night, uh, this week, they had a memorial service for uh, uh, an icon of this city who happened to be in the Caribbean and uh, was murdered. What? Um, his name is Daniel Langlois. Do you know who this guy is? No. Nope. Okay, I thought when I read it, I thought it was what? Daniel <clears throat> Lanois, the uh, producer that works with you too. That guy died, the musician? No. Tell you what this guy, this poor guy was famous for. Uh, Dying. In 1986, he started a company that he ended up selling for a disgusting amount of money, mm -hmm. uh, which... Uh, Designed the uh, dinosaurs in the first Jurassic Park. Really? Is that why they killed him? Yeah, Soft Image. He was the uh, founder of Soft Image. You mean Soft Image? Yeah, it, but Soft Image because you're in Montreal and that's how everyone says it. It's kind of like the, uh, the 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 grandfather of Ubisoft and stuff. Like this guy brought that technology hold on, shit hold on, here. Hold on, hold on. Let's Sounds read like erectile it. dysfunction uh, uh, thing. Uh, Danielle L A N G L O I S. Dude, I already found. I said let's read about it. Oh, I thought you said hold on. Hold on. No, Brownstein were about him. Yeah. He said, <clears throat> Daniel Langlois was a true inspiration, former business partner says. Mm. That, you shouldn't have added that. That makes it like he's not. Did he say it was? Yeah, it said, Daniel Langlois was a true inspiration, former business partner says. Like, you make it seem like he wasn't an inspiration. but Oh, and then after he left the company, he's worthless. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I knew some people. That, no, that's that, what it sounded that's like. That's not what he said. My God, all actually. day today, I've been saying the wrong <laughs> shit. Jesus he's, Christ, he's been man. on a roll of, like, of stupidity. This whole <laughs> you know why? It's because I did not roll Wait, a but, joint. But they, they found him in a burnt car? That's oh, terrible. That's, that's weird. All I heard was that him and his wife were very private. So that leads me to believe maybe they were in these... Uh, Two charge in Dominican killings. Of uh, Langlois and his girl. Let's awful, see. awful, awful death. Robert bro. Schneider on the left and Jonathan Lecher arrive at a courthouse in Rosso Dominica where they were charged with the murders of Langlois and his partner Dominique. Oh, two men were charged him? with the murder of Quebec entrepreneurs. No, 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 no. no. They, were, they were placed. The two murderers were, they took the heat for really? The bodies so. were found yeah. uh, in awful. a burnt out car last Friday. Yeah. The Caribbean Island Nation. Okay. It sounds uh, sketchy to originally me. Originally from New Jersey. Uh, owns property next to a luxury eco resort run by Langlois and Mar. Oh, fuck. So they ran this resort, which opened in 2022. After years of planning and construction, mm. Langlois took Lahar to court in 2018 over dispute over a public road that passes through Lahar's state. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it Local sources told uh, Radio Canada that someone ambushed and killed Langlois and Marchand and then set their car on fire. The sources said the assailant was injured when starting the fire, and that that's what helped them track him down. Oh, shit. Four people have been arrested by police uh, so far in connection with the killings, but it's not clear whether the other two will be charged. No, I see. You, you remember hearing about that? Um, <coughs> uh, that sucks, man. That's that, terrible. That pharmaceutical uh, billionaire dude in Toronto and his wife that got murdered. That's, that's super sus. That's what that reminds me of. Something, wait, something. Wait, 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 wait. This, this story reminds thing? me of that Toronto one. There's some no, Toronto one was like the Toronto one was like secret Illuminati yeah. shit. This yeah. is just angry neighbors. No, that's what they're seemingly making it sound like. 
I well, no, bro. The, the other two people were biotechs working on bioweapons and pills. These guys, you think a Jurassic Park animation no, has the, the Illuminati the guys, up the guys, in arms? The guy's worth uh, almost a billion dollars. That's yeah? why. But the Illuminati doesn't need to do that. They made the stuff. dinosaurs too realistic. Yeah. I get what you're saying. That the pharmaceutical is uh, like the end of the fugitive. Uh, pro Vasic. I, I yeah, switched is, the samples. This is okay. just... Man, what was the Toronto amazing. shit? Uh, I'm not going to get into it. Okay, this guy who started a company of uh, the generic brand... So uh, you you have when you go to the pharmacy you have the choice to either take you know uh, the Viagra brand or the generic version. He has a company like the the uh, president's choice version of medication. Okay. So that's how rich that man was. So him and his wife were murdered in their home. Brag. That's that's oof. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, who even got in there? How do you even, you know what I mean? It was very dirty. Like like the movie The Fugitive. Uh, it was very fucked up. Poor guy. Oh, fuck. So he was undercutting pharmaceutical companies. For 40 years, though. He was like in his 70s when he was murdered, this poor guy. Really? Yeah, adults. But why, why, why now, though? Why That's, not before? Okay, I don't know. Maybe one of his kids wanted the inheritance. Maybe the know. market share started hit, hurting no too much. No clue. I'm just saying it's a sad story like this. That that God guy's a damn. Toronto icon and he was murdered. And this is a Quebec icon <clears throat> that was murdered. They're and, killing uh, all our icons, he's trying to tell you. Yeah. The only Toronto icon I know is Drake. <clears throat> D-Rake. D-Rake. All right, fam. What do you think Drake's going to think about this list? Uh, he's gonna It's going <laughs> to make him sick to his stomachs, fam. Thank you, intellectuals out, fam. <laughs>